Hello there and welcome back to another lesson now. Let's look to mine together with me, Rosalie Watts, and this is another lesson of the court reporting series. So, title today of the paper, working at 80 words a minute. So, 80 is a speed for today. And the title is, Young Woman Accused of Falsely disputing credit card charges. So that's young woman accused of falsely disputing credit card charges. So young, we have the Y disjoined you for ung. The quickest way to write a woman is to put a W under the writing line, then you can put it in full like so. Um, but a nice shortcut there. Um, accused is ACS. D, we could join the of at the end, accused of. Falsely, that would be F, I'll blend. S, and then down with the I indicator. If you go up like this, it's not wrong. Either way is okay. So falsely, we've got an option there. Disputing, so that's D, S, P, T, ing. Um, credit cards, that would be C, with the D and the T inside the credit and card would be CRD. You could make a shortcut with credit card, perhaps two Cs and set to CC. You could make something like that, it's up to you. And um, put a bracket there with a full sleep. Um, charge is, so if you've watched a few of these lessons, you'll know that with charge, I omit the R. So it'll just be CHGS for a shortcut there. That's how I write charges, every time I write it. So just to go back again, we've got young woman, W underneath, accused of, note that my outlines are really big because of course one is before, falsely, go up or down with the I, disputing, DSPT ing, credit, which is just the R, the D goes inside and the T, then we have card, CRD, and then charges, and just to reiterate, you could just do a short credit card, you could do CC, okay, so that is your title, I'll go over it at speed in a little while, so just note that down for now, now, as always, what I like to do with these lessons is I like to do a quick quiz, first of all. Um, I just pick a number of specials, a number of groupings just to go over. So if you'll have a go at these, there's not going to be loads, just a few today. The first one, you'll know where to do it loads, it's members of the jury. And number two is maybe, whether it's one word or two, maybe can be grouped. The special outline for the word with. Offence, which is a special. This is the, which can be grouped. The word hand, which is a special. The phrase had been, which can be grouped. UK is in United Kingdom, but the audio, or me even, I will say UK, not United Kingdom. So it's got to be a difference there, which I'll mention um, shortly. So UK is next question. Next one we have is a phrase for a month. Followed by that she was. The special outline for the word such. The special outline for at. The special outline for very. The special outline for the word have. Next, we've got 200 pounds. A phrase that I love, next one, is I am sure you will agree. I am sure you will agree is one outline. It's fabulous, that one. Next, we've got the phrase that this is. And the last one is the word accountable. Now think about how to write account and how to write able or able and try and figure out how you could make that nice short outline. Okay, so let's check them back. So members of the jury, we have MMS for members, we go down with the J-I. That one, 
you will know if you've watched um, these lessons. Maybe we can drop the bee down, however, it's quicker to put the bee inside. Whether it's one word or two, we're going to join maybe, group them together. With is WI on the T line, special outline. Offence is just a C. That one often gets forgotten about. Um, this is the, so we angle the H of this in the way of I indicator, disjoin the S of this is, and go down with the H of the, this is the. That's a nice one. Hand is a H in the way of A indicator. Often gets the button. Had been, now we can do HD and drop the B down the beam, but of course it is quicker to bring it over, so it's got had been. Um, UK is a U indicator and a K. Now, dashes below mean capitalization, pop them there. Now, if this is an exam and I said, or the examiner said, United Kingdom, you can still put UK. We put a line underneath to say it's without its full form. So if I said United Kingdom, use a shortcut, that's brilliant, put the line underneath. If I didn't say United Kingdom, I just said UK, and no need for that additional line, no need for that long line. In some recent texts, you will see this line, the squiggly line, and the squiggly line means it's the full form, so example, United Kingdom. Now, for me, the squiggly line takes too much time, so what I like to do is to just do a straight line well, it's kind of angled because your hands, your pen's angled as you write, isn't it? So when I'm writing fast, it's just a line like, shoo, like shoo, across your page, just underneath. Okay, so that's why mine looks like that, because I think it's faster. So um, that's the difference. Now, in the passage today, it's going to be UK. So these dashes mean proper noun capitalization. You don't need this one because I'm not saying United Kingdom, just to be clear. Okay, um, so more examples of the use of that long line. If I wrote MP, like so, we'd use MP. If it was Member of Parliament, we'd put a line underneath. Um, another example is NHS, we'd have NHS. A line below means that the audio or the examiner said National Health Service. Um, there's a few more that you'll see in recent texts. Another one is um, CCTV, the closed circuit television. So um, you put CCTV, if it says CCTV, if it says closed to television, you put your line underneath, okay? So just make a note of that as well. Um, yeah, they are really handy. Another one while I'm thinking of it, for example, USA, you could put USA, but if it's United States of America, and we put the line underneath. I'm on a bit of a, going off on a little bit of a tangent here, but it is useful stuff. So um, UK was that question just, explored. Then we have for a month, so FR and A and an M below for month, for a month. Note if it was for a time then it would be on the two line. So just going to put the M below for month. Um, next we have that she was, so just grouping things together here. Special for that, long can guess is she in WS for was, that she was. So it's just SC on the T line. At is an A on the T line, an A indicator. Then we have very, which is a V, followed by have, which is also a V. 200 pounds, they've got number two, a DR blend for 100 and dot for pounds. You can circle your number. I tend to not circle it if it's sat on top of something, because I know it's a figure, but you can circle it if you want to, because of course a two could look a bit like an ND at speed. So you have time. By all means, you can circle that to there. Um, remember, a DR, a DR for 100 and a T for 1,000. If it was 2,000 pounds, it'd be 2,000 pounds. And again, I wouldn't circle that because we shout it by the T, but it's up to you, personal preference. So T on top of 1,000, DR below 400. Um, I'm sure you will agree, wonderful one. So. We've got I am SR, I am sure, for group him. And we've got U, then we've got WL for will, then GRE. It looks like I am sure you will agree. <clears throat> Excuse me, so we've lost the A off agree. Nice outline that, it's really fast. Next we have that this is. So we've got THT for that, 
angle the H of this in distream, yes, there. Well, this is that this is. Um, a countable is a nice one. So a special for count is AC and a distring for A for able, a countable. That's quite a nice one. So as always, if you want to pause and trail them, you could make a quick voice note of all these outlines and play it back to yourself and then test your knowledge um, and drill, 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 and then get ready for dictation. Okay? If you don't want to drill them, then just look with me. So I'm going to clear the board. Now back to the title, then just to remind the title, it's called Young Woman Accused Of. So Young Woman Accused Of Falsely Disputing Credit Card Charges. So we've got Young Woman, ACSD for Accused and Of, Falsely, that's F-L-S, you can go up or down with whichever way you feel most comfortable. Disputing, DSPTing. Should have this on your notepad from before. Credit is C with the D inside and the T. Card is CRD. Charges is CH in GS, so no R. That's just my shortcut there. As mentioned, you could put CC for credit card if you want to, but make sure you transcribe it as credit card and not CC, which I'm sure that you would. But just double check. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to draw your title and I'm going to have about two minutes at 80. Okay, so quick check the title. Let's give this a go. Ready? Young woman accused of falsely disputing credit card charges. Young woman accused of falsely disputing credit card charges okay make sure you've got enough paper so don't risk flipping page in the middle it's two minutes 80 so it will take up quite a bit of space um try and use all those lovely word grippings and special outlines because that will definitely increase your speed okay once i finish reading i'll be quiet for a minute whilst you complete um your last sentence and finish writing then we'll go over everything that went on the board okay hopefully good to go so Nice deep breath, you can hand a quick shake, have a quick drink of coffee or whatever you're drinking. Um, and let's give this our best shot, okay? Starts with members of the jewelry. So nice head start there, MSJI. Sorry, MMSJI. Just checking out your first outline. I shouldn't really give you the first few words, but I'm being nice today. So members of the jewelry. Okay, good luck, but two minutes at 80. Okay, buddy. Members of the jury, you may be familiar with an offence by where a person falsely disputes credit card charges. This is the matter at hand today. Rose Jones, aged 22, had been living the high life in Spain where she spent many evenings dining at expensive restaurants and splashing out on luxury clothing. She contacted her bank before heading back to the UK, telling them that her credit card had been missing for a month. And that she was not responsible for such transactions. Footage shows Rose making purchases at these very shops and bars. We have also found email and text communications where she shared an image of a bill showing a total of £200 for a meal. In her defence, she will tell you how she lost track of how much money she was spending and panicked. I am sure you will agree 
that this is no excuse and that she should be held accountable. Okay, well done for keeping up with that because that was hard if you did. If you missed a bit, not to worry. You can always head over to the SoundCloud link to play it again, or you can watch me go the outlines, do some drilling, have another go. Um, of course, you can reuse these as often um, and in your own way, which you find most helpful. So let's check the outlines in sentence by sentence. So what I'd like you to do here is grab your notepad and make a note of any outline that you've written differently or in a longer way. Could perhaps edit, annotate your shorthand notes to circle any errors that you've made or anything that you think you could make an advanced outline for, um, any word groupings you've not used, any new vocab that you learn. So you can always make a big bank of words, voice record them and practice them every single day. And they'll soon become um, super easy to remember. It just takes time and patience and constant drill, drill, drill. Um, and a can-do attitude, of course. So let's look at sentence one. Members of the jury, we had that because so I was very nice and gave you the first few words. You may be, so I've got you, maybe we had MB. Okay, familiar is an interesting outline. So F inside the M. So F inside the M. And then from there, we're going to go up with the L, but a double long L for LR, familiar. Okay. Um, that's quite a hard outline, that one. Think about your FM, what we use for things like family or form, firm, and so on. The F inside the M, so familiar. Um, next, we're going to have with, um, we had with, so W and T line, we had that one before. An offence, so and, make sure you're in the right way, not right in. C for offence. By where, so by is the I. Where is a special long W in the T line? A person. Person is PRSM. Person is quite a long outline. Um, falsely, we had that in the title, whichever way you came at the end. Disputes, we had that. We had so D, S, P, T, and S. We had disputes in the title. It's disputes in their passage. Credit card charges, so we had that. We could put CC. I put it in full because I just want to make sure that we look at theory. End of sentence. Then we have, this is the matter at hand today. So we've got, this is the, which we mentioned before. Matter is MTR. At is A indicator on the T line. We've got hand, which we had a H in the way of the indicator. And then today is T and D, okay? Just make sure if you find your A's and your I's, sometimes getting the wrong way or confusing, just put a note top left hand in the corner, just saying your A and your I. For me, the A and the I were the two indicators that I got wrong most often. I was okay with the E, the U, the O, but it was those two that tripped me up. So I would always just check I was going the right way and just look at my notes and look up, okay, is it going that way or that way? You see me doing a lot of this at times when I'm teaching in person. Um, Okay, so this is a matter at hand today. I'm going to just clear the screen, just so I've got a bit more space for the next sentence, it's quite a long one. So Rose Jones, age 22. Let's get rid of that there. Okay, so we've got Rose, RS, we've got Jones. Age, does A, G, and then D. 22, you want to circle your number. Had been living the high life. So we had had been in the warm-up questions. Living is I'll be ing. 
Now, high life, would that be one word? It'd just be H. You could put your I in if you wanted to. So you've got an option, you can either do high and we can go down with life like so, or we can do a H, up with the L, and you're gonna have to go down with the F, high life. You may find the first one um, easy to read back possibly. Um, then we've got in Spain, so I've got I-N, Spain is S-P and then N. Where is a W-R on the T-line? She, long kind of S, you can put the indicator if you want to. Spent is S-P-N-T. Many is M-N-I. We've got an e indicator inside the V and in the ings for evenings. Dining, that's D-N-ing. Now don't pump up your N, it'll take too long. You want to let it smoothly go down. So if you watch me writing it again, we're going to go D-N-ing. So just smoothing it down rather than pumping up yet. Sorry, that's going to turn a bit wonky there. Okay, dining. Um, we've got at expensive then. So words begin with EX, we omit the E, we put the first half the X, we've got the P N S V. Now note my P is slanted to get a better cross. If you didn't put the P slanted, you went straight, it wouldn't really matter, but a better cross just makes it easier to read back and arguably a little bit better to write as well. It flows nicer. So expensive. Restaurants quite a long outline, that's R-S-T-R-N-T-S. And splashing out on luxury clothing, so end for and. Splashing would be S, PL blend, long kind S in ing. Out is O indicator in T. On is that O N blend, so remember chop up the hook here and O N blend. Luxury, so we have the L, get a nice curl on your L, crash down with your X, up with the R in I, luxury. I guess you could just put lux, but ideally you want to try and put all of the required letters. In this case, it'd be L, X, R, and then Y becomes I. Next, we have clothing, which is C, L, T, H, and then ing. So just to go back, we've got Rose Jones, age 22, had been living the high life, I've missed out there, that was such a bread up here, the TH. High life in Spain, where she spent many evenings dining at expensive restaurants and splashing out on luxury clothing. Okay, so I'm gonna clear the screen for now. Now my outlines are very big and very gappy because um, I need it to be as visible as possible. You want to try and get your notes as small, neat and as close together as you can. And it can be easier said than done. Um, Okay, then we have, she contacted her bank before heading back to the UK. So she, one can ask, ask if you want to, contacted C-N-T-C-D. So C-N words often, um, well, they kind of get abandoned and forgotten about because we often want to do C-N like that, but that's just it's not nice. You've got the C-N blend, so just make sure you do drill. So contacted, okay. So CN's talk towards end of theory most often, so it's kind of one of the last things that you learn. You can often um, forget about it. So contacted her bank, HR for her. Bank is B and an AC for bank, her bank. Before, we've got B and the FR. If you're doing before this way, it's not wrong, that backwards, swoopy, fancy, gorgeous version. Either is fine. Before, heading back to the UK, so that's HD ing Back is BK, to the should be grouped. We discussed UK before in the shortcut there, just to indicate it, okay. Um, telling them that a credit card have been missing. So T, Alan, Ing for telling. Them is THM. THT for that. Her is HR. We discussed credit card before. Um, had been HD and B. Missing is MSing. We've got FR and A for 4A, and then month again discussed that before we had a go at the dictation. 
and that she was not responsible. What a long sentence they've got. And that she was can be grouped, not is empty. R S P N S. And we've got the disjoint I for able, responsible. Four is F R, such as S C on the T line. New word here, possibly transactions. So, words that begin with, I spot wrong on my sheet there, sorry. Transactions, transactions. Um, words that begin with trans, we, we do T R S, we omit the N. So, transactions will be, for example, if we wrote transport and just go back, transport will become transport. Transmit will become transmit. So, what we've done here is omitted the N to make it easy to write. So transactions will be a TR blend, SC and shuns, so transactions it says, no N. And of centers, that could be a new word there, transactions. Even teaching shorthand for a number of years, I still need words that I've not written before, which, is, which just shows how many words that are, um, you know, in, in circulation, you'll never have written every single word before. It's always something that you've got to try and get something down on the spot. It is difficult. Um, okay, then we had footage shows rows make the purchases at these very shops and bars. So you want downwards F before a T, then the G with footage. Shows is long kind S, W, S. Rows, we've got R and S. Making is M, K, ing. Um, purchase is quite a nice outline. Just going to get that. We've got P R C H H might cut your line and double your writing is, and then disjoined S for S for S purchases. Um, at is A on the T line. We've got D C H S. Um, B for very. Chops is long and S P S. And for and and bars is BRS, shops and bars. So just to just backtrack slightly here, um, so just going to read back from where I am here. She contacted her bank before heading back to the UK, telling them that her credit card had been missing for a month and that she was not responsible for such transactions. Footage shows Rose making purchases at these very shops and bars. Now, you might take the time to pause these videos and, for example, think, OK, have I got CN master? Perhaps you need a bit of work on that, maybe. Have you got ANC? Words and ANC. Um, are you getting your CR with credit? Is that um, second nature? Are you getting words correct that end in IBL disjoint I? Are you forgetting about your shun? Hopefully not. Transactions. Um, purchases. Disjoined S there. S for less. So there's a lot to think about. So from these lessons, what you can take is a revision checklist and it'll really pull out where gaps could be in theory. And that's often through no fault of the learner. It's just because there's so much to learn. Um, so often things just get missed and that's completely normal. So do make a list of things to practice from these sessions that, you know, perhaps... Um, you might have a few gaps here and there, which is natural. Okay, let's keep going forward. And you can move that down. Okay, so we'll grab the red pen again. So we are up to the new centre. This says we have also found email and text communication. So we have should be grouped. Also as S out on the T line. Found is downwards F and D. We have also found email, that's E, M, upwards, L. And for and text is T and cross the X through. If you go that way, it's not wrong, but because I'm going this way, if I go off, if you notice I'm writing forward, so I'm in a better position for going forward. But as long as you cross through, um, it's not a huge issue. Text communications. So communications then will be a CM blend, the C and the shuns, that's a shortcut for communication, and add the S to make communication, so big CM, C and shuns. Um, where she shared, so where is WR on the T line, 
She we've got one kind of S, add if you want to. Shared is long kind of S, R and D. Again, disjoint T's and D's after R. Do you need a bit of revision on that? If you do, and you know where to find um, our beginners lessons on the LLTT website or YouTube, YouTube channel. Um, so we have also found email and text communications where she shared an image. So A and N for Anne. Image is I M G. We've got R of O on the T line, add the A to make it of A. Bill is B and L. Showing is long kind S W ing. A total, so A indicator. Total is T T L. We could group total of. We've got two hundred pounds, so DR of hundred and dot of a pounds for a meal. Hope you had something nice. So for a F R and A meal is M and L for a meal. Okay, now we've got in her defence. Okay, so in her now defence in full would be D F N C. My special for defence, I just do D down with an F. This string C, the same outline as difference defense. So you can use that if you prefer. So in her defense, she will tell you. So we've got she, we could group she will. We definitely should be grouping tell you. How is H and W? She is long kind S and E. LST for lost. Track is T, R and K. Make sure you put a K because track and trace can be confused in context. We try to track the girl, we try to trace the girl, make sure you've got a okay. K um, of how much money she was spending. Of how is HW? Much is MC on T line. Money is MNI. Try and group she was. And we've got SP and ink for spending. Okay, and panic, so end for and, panicked is P, N, C, D. I don't know quite why that one. Okay, so just to scroll back to um, this last sentence. So in her defense, she will tell you, just gonna flag in green line the defense on here. In her defense, she will tell you how she lost track of how much money she was spending and panicked. So we have a full stop there at the end. Um, okay, only one more sentence to go. I am whizzing through this quite quickly, so of course you can pause at any point and just slow me down and you know digest the information. So we have I am sure you will agree. So we've got I M S R you will agree. Let's try that again, sorry. Outlines always look much nicer when you write on a real notepad than on a screen. Um, that this is, so we have that this is, which is the shortcut, the grouping. No excuse, so N, O for no. Excuse is X, C, and S. I notice my, um, my X is looking huge. No excuse. And that she should be held accountable. So I've got and that she should be grouped. We can group should be long kind S and D. Try and bring the B over rather than drag it down. Held is H up with L D. A C for account and then Abel. And in fact, you could join and that she it depends where your where your hand is. But if you want to try and group that together, and that she could do. Not particularly common phrase, but it would work quite well. Um, so I can breathe, that was that. So quite a tough paper, um, some new words, which is always nice to bring out some new words, things that I didn't think I've showed you guys before. A couple of words that I've not come across before, here, which is always nice as well. So things like high life, um, I think transactions is a new word that I've not written for a while. Um, probably about it, but there was a few, a few interesting outlines that 
haven't had to come across, if ever, or at least for a long time. So, yeah, just to be aware, even now, even teaching shorthand and reading passages and writing passages, are still words I've not written before. So there's obviously going to be words you guys haven't written before. It's trying to make the best of what you can in that moment. So try and get down the best version of an outline um, and try and keep going. Remember, we show you how to write the outlines in the fastest way. We show you all the hints and tricks, the correct theory, and so on. But there are always options. So don't think that you know your writing isn't. So don't sort of be hard on yourself and go, I should be able to read this back, or I should have got that blend right. It's really hard at the moment to get everything perfect. Um, but of course, like everything in life, it just takes time and repetition and practice and motivation um, just to keep to keep going with it. So yeah, remember remembering that you need to read back your shorthand notes. We'll show you the best way to write the words, but it's you who's got to read them back for your exams or whether you're using this at work, um, interviewing, etc. So just make sure you spend as much time writing, practicing as you do transcribing as well. Um, so hopefully I enjoyed the session today. Um, I absolutely love doing these lessons. It's always a real um, joy for me to write the paper and deliver it here. So thank you if you got this far watching. And remember, you can always jump to SoundCloud to read the passage. And hopefully you're having a wonderful day or evening wherever you are. And I will um, be back in a couple of weeks time with the next one. If anyone has any suggestions and stories and could you hear perhaps here of local crime that's happened or recent in the paper, pop a comment down um, or drop us an email. We can try and write something about, you know, a matter that's perhaps happened in your area or something you've read about and um, try and put something together. So wonderful. So let's keep loving tea line together. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night and I'll see you soon. Thank you.